Greetings and welcome to Pinball Help. Mike here. Today we're going to talk about tilt. We're going to talk all about tilt. What is tilt? What are the tilt mechanisms that you see in pinball machines? And uh, how does that whole thing work? So this is a video on a particular feature of most pinball machines. The tilt, also known as the plumb bob. But what is tilt in a larger sense? It is an error condition in the game when you're playing and you move the game too much it's kind of an anti-cheat thing so how does it work and how what kind of anti-cheat things are in pinball machines so let's talk about them most people are familiar with the main tilt mechanism which as you see right here this is an old electromechanical game called uh, 300 and uh, it's it's basically a pendulum with a lead weight on it and if you move the machine too much this thing will wiggle around and so there's a contact in the middle going to the lead weight, and then the outer edge is the other part of the contact. So it's like a switch. So when this touches the edge, that's a tilt. So obviously shaking the machine too much can cause a tilt condition. Depending upon what era game it is, you can either lose the ball or the entire game. Um, there's uh, the early, early games, when you tilted, that was it, the game was completely over. Uh, in later games, when you tilted, that ball tilted out, and then you just, when the ball drained, it reset. Um, so tilt is mainly to keep you from moving the machine around too much to try to get an unfair advantage when you're playing pinball. If you're moving the, the machine around, you're supposed to move it a little bit because you want to nudge it, but if you move it too much, that's kind of cheating, and it'll set the plumb bob off. Now this plumb bob is adjustable. You can, you can raise or lower the lead weight so that there's more or less play. The higher up it is, the more sensitive the thing is going to be. The lower it is, the less sensitive. Um, you, also, there's different tricks people use if they want to disable the tilt. They can actually remove the lead weight completely from it and then just have the little thing in here and it's, 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 it's much less sensitive. Also, people will take pieces of tissue paper or tape, and they'll tape around it to just completely disable. So you can kind of do a manual way if you want on that. That is the main anti-cheat tilt mechanism. There is another one in most games right here. You'll see, you see this little track here? This is another tilt mechanism to protect against lifting the machine up. Now, there's a ball in here. And it's a little bit smaller than a pinball. In this game, it's not here. Most home games, these are removed. But if, if I were to lift the machine up, the ball would roll forward and touch this switch right here. And uh, that would cause another tilt condition. So these are the two common things, especially found in older machines. In more modern machines, you'll often just see the plumb bob, and that's kind of the tilt anti-cheat mechanism. Um, but there's also other tilt mechanisms. Let's talk about what's called a slam tilt. This is another anti-cheat, anti-being too rough with the game. And um, sometimes when you pick up an old pinball machine and you can't get it running and the tilt light is on all the time, and you check the plumb bob and everything seems to be working, but it's still not playing. That's likely the slam tilt. And let me show you what a slam tilt is. This particular game actually has three completely separate slam tilts. It's another part of an anti-cheating thing. So let's take a look at what a slam tilt is. So there's one right there. See that weird looking switch where there appears to be a weight on one end of it? So this is a slam tilt. What you see here is it's basically a leaf switch. Um, and then there's a weighted, one end of it is weighted. And so if you drop the machine down really hard, this thing will break. This is what's called a normally closed slam switch. Um, switches are normally open or normally closed, NO or NC. A normally closed NC switch means that in its normal state, the switch is connected. So this is a normally closed. The switches are completely connected. But if, if inertia causes this thing to break that connection, then it would... Uh, to cause a tilt condition and the game would stop playing or everything would go out, the flippers go dead, and then either the ball drains and it restarts or the game's over and you have to start another game. 
So slam tilts in many games will end the entire game. They're a much more serious condition, um, and they imply really being violent to the game. Because with a pendulum, sometimes you could move the game really rapidly and then move it back, and it might not actually cause the pendulum to, to trigger. So there's other safety features in here. So this is one of the slam tilts right here. Now, if you have a game that has a slam tilt that is normally closed like this, you want to make sure these contacts are always clean because if they get corroded, even if it's closed, if it's not making contact, it will cause the game to act like it's tilted. Here's another slam tilt. This one is in the underside of the play field. So you can see this right here. That is another anti-cheat device. This one is normally open. See? It, the two leaf switches are not touching each other. And if you move it around enough, this thing will, if it, if, if it moves enough, it'll, it'll, ta it'll touch it. You can hear it, listen. Each of that little clack is it closing. So that's a normally open slam tilt. Sometimes if you want to avoid these things, you can, you know, you can take it and bend it away further to just make it less sensitive. This is probably its natural setting right there. So you can, you can move the game a little bit, but a little bit more than that, and it's going to tilt it out. There's often a slam tilt in the coin door of a machine, too. So let's take a look at this one. All right, and there's our slam tilt. Take a look at it. This is to this is uh, in case somebody's beating on the coin door. So you'll often see slam tilts spread out all over the game. So here it is right here. This is a uh, this is a normally closed switch. Sometimes they're normally open or normally closed in here. But if if I were to bang on this, it it would cause this thing to break away from it and cause a tilt condition. So. Those are the different kinds of anti-cheat things that you'll find in pinball machines, how they work, and why they're there. That's a little short video on tilt and how it works. And obviously, when you're playing the game, you want to be a little bit gentle. You want to avoid getting that tilt because you lose your bonus or whatever else that happens at the end of a ball. So keep playing and respect the tilt. And until next time, thank you. Everybody for watching, visit uh, my website, pinballhelp.com. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel slash pinballhelp. And thanks.